Let's take a look at the gear that we're gonna use. First of all we got a front light, 6 Fresnels and 6 Profiler. Then we go to our back truss. In the back truss we will find 12 par 64 with gels and 4 moving light spots. As floors on the ground we got 4 moving light swashes and of course a smoke machine. Let's take a visual look. Here's our stage. You can see the four moving lights that are hung and also the PAR64. Here's the front light. On the other row here you can see the profilers and in the back are the wash lights. Fader. We're gonna work with 10 faders again. The first fader will be the intensity for our front light. And the second fader is a design fader. In the design fader we're gonna store information about the colors, the gobos and the general positions. Then we're gonna start our song with an intro that we also can use as an outro. Here's a verse, another fader for a chorus, then a variation of the chorus, a bridge, a solo, and two more faders for effects. These effects will only add additional information and won't contain its own information. That means, uh, for example, you're gonna store here a circle or pan tilt sinus, but you wouldn't see anything just lifting up the fader. So this fader is only working here in the context of the other faders. Executor buttons. We're gonna work with two rows of executor buttons. The first executor button will be uh, position sex. This means here we want to have an accent or a point of interest on the saxophone position. The next one goes to the piano position. Well, could be other musicians. Here in this example I got five musicians and a singer. And I'm gonna count them from left to right. And here are our four musicians and finally our singer. Always the concept is to have a profiler that will be at 100% intensity on this position of the musicians and all other profilers and front lights will dim down. So we can make a point of interest with an executor button. Then a special button for a drum solo. And here is another button there we got a quick access to make a point of interest in the center of the stage. Another button for a page change. Actually it's not making a page change but it's resetting all the executors but the front light. A smoke machine of course. Here we got a helping button for programming the wash with full intensity and the same for the spots. Okay, let's take here a look how we're gonna assign our fader wing. We're gonna start with the front light. The next one will the design, position and go ball. Here's intro, outro. And here now I'm gonna start like a normal top 40 song. Giving a verse, a chorus, maybe after the chorus you can go back to the verse, second chorus, maybe a variation of the chorus. Sometimes there's a bridge and a solo. And here will be the two effect buttons to add additional effects. These are the faders and here on the lower part we got the executor buttons assigned to the faders. Uh, on the MA, on the dot two, it's um, normally default would be here a play button, a go button and here down a flash button. Depending on our design, we're gonna change a bit the assignment of the buttons. So most of the times uh, I will add some learn buttons to tap a tempo here on the lower position. But here in the table I'm gonna leave it open. Of course it depends on the page, on the design we do. Let's take a look here up uh, to the executor buttons. Here are the position buttons giving the point of interest. And we got our five musicians. And on the next executor there will be point of interest for our singer. Here's a drum solo 
and the point of interest to make a point of interest for the center position. Or it's not a center position, it's a bigger circle in the center. Then here two helping executors. Here we can give full intensity to our wash lights and full intensity to our spots. This helps us programming. Then we got a page change. This will for a reset will reset all executors except the front light executor and the center executor. Then we got a smoke machine. And that's it. Here are the color designs. The color designs I won't write down colors like red and blue. What I like to do is some moods. I'm gonna give them different names and names that tell me something. For me uh, animation will be a very colorful thing for example. Nostalgic. Here I would like to have thinking about uh, the years 30, 40, the 50s. Something with M or something glamorous, golden. A love song, of course, some red colors. A cool thing, for me the interpretation of cool, I think about cool jazz. Also it could be rap, it could be something that's um, very simple. And for the cool I would like to use uh, some blue colors for the design. Glamour, glamour of course, a lot of glitter, a lot of gold. Warm colors. Rock and roll. Rock and roll, my association with rock and roll is the typical par 64 with gels, the primary colors. Disco, a lot of moving lights, a lot of movement. Back to Mars, well this could be something green or even, even red, whatever you associate with the word back to Mars. And so I'm gonna make a few designs and it's not important what the name is, it's important what you associate with this design. Timeless. Well, timeless would be, would be for me a joker function, a design that I can use always. And I suggest that you start, if you work with this concept, maybe with five, six designs. And with the five, six designs you can do a lot of work and whenever you got time you can add another design. But the very most important thing is that you know the design.